still wondering what Abler actually does? This is the third episode of our tutorial series, made for everyone who's been curious. Today, we're diving into Abler's unique advanced features. Let's start with the default background. But if you want to see how your asset blends with a real background, adding a touch of color makes it much easier to visualize and fine-tune the mood. Just click background and drop in any image you like. You can add a single tint right from the menu below. See? With this simple background guide, you can more easily consider the color and mood when you adjust the tones. Convenient, right? Personally, though, I don't recommend rendering with a fixed background. Abler doesn't let you add things like clouds or atmospheric effects, so you'll have a lot more flexibility if you render without it. If you want a transparent render, just toggle the background off. Now your background becomes see-through. Next up, material editing. You can find the specific material of an object from the item list and edit it. But honestly, you'd need about a light year just to find the right one. So here's a smarter way. Head over to the material tab. On the right, you'll see the material list for the selected object. Click the section you want to edit, and the area will light up with a blue outline. Accidentally click the wrong thing? Just hit ESC to deselect. Now, click on the object you want to make shiny and smooth. Here, you can adjust its color, intensity, texture rotation, and reflection. The reflection feature gives surfaces a sleek, realistic shine, but it comes at a price. Like the little mermaid trading her voice for legs, when you enable reflections, shadows from nearby objects will vanish. See? Poof. Gone. Whether or not to use it is totally up to you. Now let's talk about one of Abler's coolest features, character placement. Open the character menu. Click the cute little plus button to add a new slot. From here, you can upload your character image and set their height value. Let's summon, Stickman. Nothing showed up? Don't panic. Your character is just waiting backstage. See this tiny button right here? It's the spawn character button. Click it and your mouse pointer will change so you can choose where to place them. Click anywhere you want, and, there they are. Amazing, right? We know. You can import a finished character illustration. Or use a rough mannequin as a posing reference. Because you entered the character's height, Abler automatically scales them to fit the scene perfectly. No more weird proportion issues between characters and backgrounds. If you want your character to face another direction, turn on, always face camera, and rotate the camera, your character will rotate with your view. Or just move or rotate them manually like any other object. This feature isn't just for people, either. You can drop in any 2D image, like props or decorations, and place them right into your scene. So today, we explored Abler's advanced features together. Of course, there are still many other functions I didn't cover. For example, if you take a closer look at the render window, you'll find options like rendering with characters included, or exporting each type of line separately. The possibilities for creative application are endless. In the next session, I'll show you how to create a background that perfectly fits your drawing style using all these features. If you're excited about that, don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for more content coming soon. See you next time.